the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Uh-huh. Woo! This, this, and then here I am going right back to Genesis. Yeah. Where are, where, where are you? Where are you? <laughs> hey, I like that one statement. He said, "Hey, look, I say this is very important. Who told you you were naked? Yeah. Who told? You? And and I think that's another thing we like to do is preach. I'm going to point out everybody's nakedness. That's what we're doing." Well, it's it it is. It's uh, like you used to say, that 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 fig leaf ministry. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and then we 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 come through the specters of the preachers. <laughs> but it's interesting how that points right back to four three. It's all about. The glorious gospel about the sun who God sent who shines the light into the hearts of men. Yeah. You know? That's why he said our job is to preach this gospel. Preach it. Preach what? Preach deliverance because the gospel is where you're gonna get it through Jesus Christ, the sower. I mean, I just think about it. I mean, they just keep pushing me right back to it too. The sower. I mean, when you talk about that parable, right? And he said, if you don't get this parable, how is you going to get any other parable? How are you going to get any other parable? How are you going to preach the gospel? That's basically what he's trying to say. How are you going to preach it? If you don't understand, hark and behold, that when are they sower to sow? That's the gospel. That's the beginning of the gospel. That's the beginning of this parable. The soul. The sower. Is about the sower. <laughs> I mean, but it's good though because if we get understanding, because you can't go any further if you don't get that understanding. It's the sower. The sower is the sun. It ain't you. Ain't yeah. nothing been you. Ain't nothing about you. Ain't about the fact is that you, 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 your past sins and transgressions. Because he took care of that. You like I like what you did. Let me. You always say past, present, and future he didn't address that but you need me to understand he did it right he did it so so i thought it was interesting that we cut we got that far in, in uh thursday night but it was like you see how that thing just opened up just one one verse of the problem yeah one verse of the problem because because now we want to go into and this is where Vision and I left off in, and, I, and, and uh, of that question, it was, uh, where is it at? One second. I'm, I'm gonna, I need to go back to the question. Well, I think, Christian, this is the first one right here, right? But I don't think I read it right. This is the, uh, what are the peculiar heart conditions in the parable? But I think the question was early. Let me go all back to the top of it. The question was this I think the question came out of uh, that first question we really went past that first question didn't we? Let me see here. We really, and this, I think, because I wanted to, discipleship is the one we wanted, we left off at. We, we, I think we, this one we just, hey, where you at, Bishop? The, uh, we went down to start, that's what I did, uh, Brother Adam was trying to dissect the, uh, the verses, right? Mm -hmm. and, and I really, I thought that was really good to, to go ahead and go, let's get into the first one. Um, and you was explaining, you were explaining the peculiar heart condition described for the good soil. 
Uh, and I don't know if he he got any difference with that, but we really never got to the the peculiar heart condition of good soil. We didn't get to that. What we went to, but uh, Addison, and that's where I think we were going to start off at is what is the discipleship significance of the various soil? That's that's the question, right? So what I had here, and this is what we want to pick up at right now, and he wanted us to read that. What is the what is the precarious uh, heart condition of in this parable? Really, the question is this discipleship. But I'm actually going into the first uh, type of soil. But Bishop was saying discipleship. What? So of all those four heart, all those four uh, types of soil, where you see discipleship? In? <coughs> Anybody? But that's that's a question him him and I was talking about is as we read those other verses, starting with verse four. Do you see discipleship? That's the question. And, 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 uh, how do you see that? Even with verse, let's take verse 4 for itself. Do you see discipleship in it? I can see where it's needed. It's needed. Ha! There you go. I think that's the point of it. Right there. I can see where, where discipleship is, is needed by Okay, if 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 it's sown on the wayside, the disciple can sweep them back over into good ground. He can, sh sh you know, he can shoo away the devourers. Uh huh. <laughs> you know, and 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 give and, and give that seed some help. <laughs> You know, can, can can help that seed establish itself on good ground. Hey, it's good to say that, 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 that seed could be moved. Just because it was sown in a bad place don't mean it can't be moved. That's true. That's just where it fell. What is what is the wayside? That's what the thing he said up straight up. What what of this wayside? This is the first soil anyway. Tell me about that wayside. What a wayside. Come on now, tell <laughs> Sadly, it. the wayside could be the church. <laughs> oh, listen, did you hear that? <laughs> we we said I, I just want to give you the answer what he said, and I agree with him. Uh that's flat out unbelief. That, yeah. that that's that's I, I I'm not hearing it. I don't want to hear it. I don't believe it. I believe y'all foolish. I think y'all y'all just just off base. Y'all a bunch of hypocrites, a bunch of, you know, you just, you just, you're not even worth my time. Yeah, to yeah they, they're, they're, they can't, I, the wayside, they can't receive it. They don't, yeah, they don't want they, to. They can't understand it. They can't, they can't grasp anything outside of what is being said. They're, those are the ones that actually look at uh, communion as cannibalism. Uh -huh. Right. You know that that's that that's that's the level of wayside. They yes, can't. They, there, there's no spiritual aspects of the information that's being sown. None. There, there's no concept outside God. of the physical realm and understanding God. that's God. the wayside that's the wayside that's a total unbelief and you know i even when this one in scripture here it says uh first corinthians 1 verse 21 for after that for after that in the wisdom of god the world by wisdom knew not god it pleased God by the foolishness of preaching 
See, we're trying to think that this stuff is foolish. That, I think that's when we get into this world reasoning. Because this is God. It's interesting how God, God said, It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. For the Jews require a sign, and the Greeks seek after wisdom. But we <laughs> preach Christ crucified unto the Jews and some of us, and unto the Greek foolishness. So, by the same way we fail, it pleases God. <laughs> it's the same way we're going to be rough. We're going to be risen from the dead. Exactly. That's why it's pleasing God. He's like, I'm still, I'm using exactly what caused you to fail. <laughs> <laughs> to be restored. Oh, the same method that the enemy used, I'm going to use to restore you. <laughs> I'm going to use to restore you. I'm going to take what they consider foolishness. I'm going to take what you think that, you see, you a lot of us don't understand there's a power in the preaching. There's power in the preaching. We understand, see, when wisdom comes in, the head knowledge comes in, we can't, we can't reason past the spiritual aspect of it and the spiritual power. I think that goes back when Bishop was saying is why, or the question is, why does the devil wants to come and take the word from these people? Because they're going to reason it out by wisdom. It don't make no sense. We think they don't want to hear the word of God. They don't want to hear the God, word of God. But Satan don't want them to keep the word that was sown in their heart. Because they have to rise above that word, head knowledge, that the world wisdom. That is foolish. They ain't gonna change. We ain't gonna change no alcoholic by preaching the gospel, Elder Johnson. We ain't gonna, can we do it, Elder Johnson? Can we cheat? Can we get an alcoholic to stop being an alcoholic by preaching the gospel? We can't do nothing. I, I, I just want to know whether they're going to change by preaching the gospel. Because that's the only commission we've been given. Preach the soul, or the soul without the soul, right? So what? He says, Jesus Christ. He said this right here. said this. For after that, the wisdom of God, <laughs> the world by wisdom knew not God. But it pleased God by the food of the preacher to save them to believe. By preaching. Who's preaching? That's you, ain't it? And I said, you, you and I change. God is doing it. Oh, no, yeah. No yeah, but we, we, we have to be willing vessels. Just to preach. Just, just, just to, to share the gospel. Yeah. About his son. I think that, you know what, maybe that's that's probably one of the missing anyway. Make sure we understand that preach the gospel is preaching about the Son, whom God sent. That's the work of God. I think that's, that's, that's why Paul had to say, I'm, I'm not ashamed Come on. of the gospel. Uh -huh. <laughs> It, didn't he also say that he don't preach nothing except for Christ crucified? Yeah. Uh huh. For it is the power. It's the power. <laughs> listen, people, whoever hears this video in the future, listen to people who hearing it now. It's the power of God, the preaching of the gospel. And to salvation. People can, I can change by hearing and receiving the gospel. You can change by hearing and receiving the gospel and understanding the gospel. The gospel is here. Its simplicity is believe in the Son who God sent. His power to shine the glorious gospel into the hearts of man. Man, I mean, man, I'm, I'm already. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna preach myself. But I'm saying everything we just read is about shining the light. He's shining the light into the hearts of man. We're sitting there. We get stuck on. Oh well. I know I'm, I'm not saved because of technicality. Hey, oh, oh, how about it, brother? Asher? I can't get saved because of technicality. What technicality? Oh, well, you know, I, I, I don't messed up, Bishop. I don't messed up and, and, and blaspheme the Holy Spirit. I'm going straight to hell. I'm, it's over with. The devil's right. I'm gone. I'm, I'm just wasting. That's it. Technicality. I don't messed up. Can't receive the gospel. Can't get to know Jesus. Can't change. 
even though the power of the priest of the gospel is to say that you can be, because he's there. But we look for all these little different things, all these different laws and thinking that we can't make it. And he's trying to tell you the good news is you can. I mean, that's what the good news is for. Not to bring you back, but to bring you in. And we the ones who want to come back. And the devil, I think, you know, if you want to look at the Exodus, the whole purpose of the devil is to get us to go back to bondage. And he'll use technicality. I call it technicality, Bishop. When you sit there and you break a law, there's, he's finished with you. You commit adultery, you, he's finished with you. you. You sit there and you get drunk, you, he's finished with you. You sit there and lie, and you go back to lie, and he's finished with you. We keep thinking, he keep there saying, I left the door open. You want to keep going back, to, you want to keep going all the way back to Egypt. But the gospel is saying the son, believe in the son. And understand, and then I like to back here, back to understanding the son. It's all about the son and what the son can do to each individual that we plant the, the word of God into. And the devil does not want the first, the first soil, the wayside, total unbelief. But he said, I still can break through that unbelief. Bitch, I think that's the whole point I think he's trying to say is I can break through that unbelief. That's why the devil wants to take that word from him because he knows that I can break through that unbelief. Once I can get them to understand what this gospel is all about, not about going back by the laws, not by being a, a, a hypocrite so that people, don't, people sit there. That's what we get. We become hypocrites. We forgot who we were. <laughs> Some of us forgot where we came from. Amen. And and that's what turns people off. It's like, darn. I mean, I, like I said, I, I some of y'all when y'all when y'all just came in, I mean, we had a relative that just I I almost I almost get ready right off. <laughs> I was getting ready right off. <laughs> well, I didn't want it. I know I I always kept playing. <laughs> It looked like it didn't look right. It, you know, you know, no fight. You right back. It, it looked like the man is knocked out. Bitch. It looked like the the the, 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 the counted one, two, and and it's funny to how God can sit there and bring you on the ten count. That man gonna hit the word ten and bam, that person's back. And that's how the, that's the power of the gospel. So anybody who, who, who's listening on this to the videos, understand, man, it ain't over till it's over. He can change anybody and will change anybody's ready to see. But that wayside is unbelievable. Unbelievable. That's what I got from it. What you got, Vince? Yeah. I'm just sitting here trying to figure out. Lord, baby, you can do this tonight. And I thank you for the Lord. So let me just, uh, let me just, uh, be really, really truthful with you guys. Uh huh. Let me just, uh, be really, really truthful with you guys. Uh huh. So I'm asking God, you know, I could do this and so on. I'm doing a search and I'm just going to do a little bit of that. So in Zechariah chapter 8, that's in the 16th. Can we begin to break it up? Zechariah. Yeah, chapter 8. You bring it up in a second. I just want to get to it first. Mm -hmm. Well, you said what verse? 16. 16 or 18. There you go.
So this is the message that Zechariah was given to encourage the people after having been uh, chastised by God. Mm -hmm. uh, in some very severe ways, in some very personal ways. So he says, look, here, here's what I need you to do. Because these are the things that he said we speak to you, every man of truth to his neighbor. Execute the judgment of truth and peace in your day. And let none of you know the evil in your heart against your neighbor. And love no false hope. All these are things that I hate. Okay, now listen. Uh, I guess I need to kind of get a consensus from this group and see, you know, whether or not we want to do this like this and this. Okay, so we, we don't have to take this approach. We can take some other approach if you want. I, 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 you know, that's why I gave you that PDF that says, look, this is a lot of work. Yeah. You know, this requires that you have, you do some serious investment so that when you come to the meeting, you got something to offer now. I never would ask you to do something that I'm not myself willing to do. So I, I spent a significant amount of time on this question. Yes. Because I think that before we move on from the parable, I think often we we are in a rush to grow. But I think I, as I'm getting older, I'm learning that you need to kind of stay with that thing to give you sense that you've gotten to God with your hand. I think that this parable is far deeper, far more profound than we, than we thought when we looked when we engaged. Uh -huh. Because I, I'm still making notes on different aspects, even now, about yeah. things that I, I've seen. Yeah, right. I think even when you and I talk about Thursday, it's, it's brought some more to it. <laughs> and so, so now, but when, we, when we come together, if you hadn't done the work, it's yeah. really kind of like, you know, it's true, true. It, yeah. There's not going to be a whole lot that's going to come out of there. And I'm just wondering, you know, uh, if, 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 if there's some other approach that, you know, we want to change, that's all we're going to do. But I think that, you know, I said these questions out on Tuesday. Yeah. I had, you know, I try to be prepared. I, I was prepared to discuss these things on Thursday. Yeah, right. And I continued to prepare myself for this question even after Thursday. So I've been working on this thing even since then. Right. But, but you know, I think it's good for you to offer your what you have. But when you've not spent time with it, you know, I can discern that. Yes, sir. I, I can sense. By the by the nature and the essence of your comments and your statement, whether or not there's been any serious thought or reflection or anything. I'm just saying if we're gonna get if we're gonna really be a help to each other. Yes, sir. I'm talking about we ourselves now as as mature men. Right. Then I I, I just I, I struggle if you come to the table and you ain't put no time in. I I, I, I gotta yeah. be honest with you. I, I got I struggle seriously with that. Because I'm not gonna come to these meetings not having invested significant time mm. and really walk with God and got with God and say, look, what are you really saying to yourself? Right. But well, you you so, know, go ahead. So I wanna know, you know, I, I just want to get a consensus of where we are because I'm looking at that. I'm assuming that uh, on Tuesday, I sent this text out. I'm assuming that everybody is on this text. Let me just make sure, but. If there needs to be some other means to get the word out, that's all well and good, but. I try to, I remember I sent out, I, I sent out Friday. I'm expecting you to come to the table. Yeah. Prepared. Yeah. Hey, I, you know, I sent it out. I, that's probably the easiest way to say it. Hey, little Vincent, we're sending out a reminder. I think reminder third, yeah, Saturday too. 
in Friday. Uh, but I mean, they may not be catching it. I don't know. But I, you know, I, 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 I concur uh, with the with the expectation. But I, I do like the fact is that uh, the revelation of those who did receive it, you know, as you know, it's welling into it. It, it it's still enlightening. Though. Don't, don't you agree? Because like when I was looking at the deeper part of like what we just went over. Uh, Thursday, and we brought it over to Friday. You know, today it still it still was uh, enlightening. You know what I mean? Because really, I thought about the how we you know we just saw the, the just the first verse, right? I mean that that first part of that parable of uh, the sower. You know that 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 was to me. We at least share what we got. You know the ones who. Who have put some time into it and looked at it we're sharing that uh revelation and, and i think that's what brings some uh peace to those who come on you know sunday but they not read it didn't catch it but like brother asa he's been traveling <laughs> so he's been on the road uh elder now, Elder's here, uh, Mac Daddy driving. You see Mac Daddy driving down the road? Mac like he's about to give somebody <laughs> some Mother Day gifts this is. Yeah, he got a hat on his head, <laughs> looking like Mac Daddy. <laughs> yeah, there, there, there's an old OG. That's an OG Mac. <laughs> hey, can that, camera, can that camera look at that hat again? Let me see. <laughs> so, the OG, that's original gospel? <laughs> no. <laughs> Unfortunately, no. <laughs> the elder, the elder, did you get a chance to read the... Uh... Uh, it's kind of funny, Mac Daddy, it's been so long, I don't even let me know. You got that hat on, they can't see it right now. Yeah, yeah, that's about all, that's about all, <laughs> that's about all, that's about Bishop was making a comment yeah, about, yeah. did you get a chance to read the, uh, look at those questions again? The, uh, the only thing I focused on this time was like a CID from the previous one that we were doing Thursday night. I was, right. I was, yeah, I kind of stuck on there and we're expecting we went to that part where it said, discipleship, I ain't seen nothing in there that looked like discipleship. I heard what our bro brother uh, Addison was saying, and I didn't even see that. <laughs> I'll be honest. I do. I don't. Yeah, I hear it. So, Bishop, yeah, I, I think it, I think this would be um, the, the, those of us who involved in it. It's a it's still. I like. I like when the, yeah. the, 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 the light comes on with understanding, bit by bit, phase by phase. You know. Uh, but what I can do is, I, all I can do is tell you, I'll be there. And we won't work from there. Did you see it? I mean, somebody explained. I think Bishop was the one that brought it up. Yeah, we're going into it now. He he just wanted to comment. He made a, just a, just made a comment about it. He would like, you know, uh, between the times when he put out a question, to put some, you know, invest some time into it. You know, so so suddenly we can get more of a, a fellowship and communion of the of, of, of the of what, what God is saying to you. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I, I copy that. You know, the only thing that I like coming on there is that I, if Bishop mentions and I, I must you know kind of agree. A lot of times, the amount of time that you put into it is going. I ask the Lord, who are we going to use it who before me the most? But yeah. if, you, if you provided that time, if you had that time, it's just to come upon us, those who give them as much as required. So we give them much time, we expend much time. But I know a lot of guys coming in, level of study, uh, understanding the scriptures, level of inquiry is different. So for those, who are, I mean, some guys are just more in the face of God. Yeah. And they had they, they had the time and they had the inclination for whatever reason, I'm not too sure. But the one thing I think you, you, you commented on, Man, it's good to get in there sometime with folks and cheat. You know what I'm saying? I know it's it may seem to be wrong, but I have fun that that's good. I don't see nothing. I see it all. Yeah.